Were 90s moms, like, did they have skinnier booties? For me, it doesn't need to spark joy. It needs to fit. It just needs to fit. And honestly, it's not something I talk about very often because it, it kind of feels a little embarrassing. Well, hey everyone, it's Natalie. So glad you stopped by my channel for today's video. Together, we are going to do a fall closet clean out and be interrupted by children every 30 seconds. I had a yummy sandwich. You had a yummy sandwich? I'm so glad. Mom life, anyway, we are decluttering my closet today. It is definitely fall time here in the Pacific Northwest, which means a lot of my summer stuff, I'm just not reaching for. Swimsuits, shorts, the like. We're decluttering. I'm gonna show you some fall clothing staples as well, because I know you guys like to see that. My goal here is to make a fall capsule wardrobe with like 30-ish pieces including shoes. And as we go, I'm going to be giving you guys updates on my experience with using that decluttering method that I did last time, how it's gone having way less stuff in my uh, collection. If I regret getting rid of that much stuff, like did I go too far? I know I've gotten a lot of questions and if you're here for the updates, then welcome. If you're here for the decluttering motivation, then I hope you enjoyed this video as well. If you want even more decluttering motivation, I recommend you go watch my Messy to Minimal series that I do. This isn't a messy to minimal video. This is more of like a let's chat and declutter at the same time sort of thing. And it's already all over the place, but here we go. Let's get started. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what we've got going. Of course, the top of my dresser always ends up becoming a heap because this closet is not just for clothing, it is also where I keep stuff for my video making and business. So multifunctional space. But here's where the real, real deal is. Um, this is the top drawer that I organized my current season clothing into. As you can see, stuff has become disheveled. I've brought some like uh, colder months clothing into this drawer but also kept some of my summer stuff in here so there's just too much stuff um, and then this is like that off-season drawer but I need to bring some stuff into there and do some switcheroo so we're doing that today as well as going through this stuff and really um, deciding if I want to keep it. I have some hanging clothing here, which I'm also going to go through. This has actually been really easy to keep tidy because I have really pared down this collection specifically. I added a plaid shacket that is still brand new with tags that I am returning. I tried it on once and realized I ordered a men's jacket. And some people like that oversized look and it works on them. I'm only five feet tall and sometimes oversized clothing makes me look like a box. So I guess that's the first thing we're decluttering out. The cute Patagonia plaid jacket. I, I'm gonna try to find a women's one because I really like this. I got this on clearance at Dick's Sporting Goods. I think it was like under $40, normally like 140. So I'm decluttering this one out and typically I pass things on to family and friends or I donate it, but I'm actually returning this one. Brand new with tags, still have the receipt, would like to get my money back. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who missed my last closet declutter in the summertime or if you just need a refresher, I actually used a very different decluttering method than I had previously. It was inspired by my friend Dawn from the channel The Minimal Mom. I'll link her channel in the description box if you guys want to go check her out. Um, but she does this reverse decluttering method for her clothing specifically. And instead of taking everything out piece by piece and holding it up and really scrutinizing the collection as a whole, instead you go in and pick the pieces that you know are your favorites, that you wear on a regular basis, that you always reach for that actually fit and you build out a sort of a capsule wardrobe on your bed or on the floor wherever you may be and it really helps give you a good idea of the stuff to keep everything left in the drawers or on the hangers is sort of a candidate to donate because it wasn't in your like best of the best category and it made it really easy for me 
to part from a ton of clothing that simply did not fit or I was holding on to just because I was sentimental about it. It was a really great way to go about decluttering my closet and that is what I'm doing today. I decluttered my entire collection in the summertime because it was the first time that I had done this reverse decluttering method and I am employing that same reverse decluttering method as I take a look at my collection for the fall and winter. Okay, so I went and pulled out pieces for the fall time that I know I will absolutely wear. Some of these are current things that I'm wearing. Some of them are the sweaters that I just loved last year. And all in all, with the shoes included, I actually have 27 pieces here laid out on my bed. When we're talking capsule wardrobe for me personally, the idea behind it is the pieces that I will use to mix and match to create outfits um, for kind of like going out or being seen throughout the season. People sometimes get critical when you choose to not count certain things. It's my closet. I can choose what I want just like you can choose for your closet. So what I'm not counting in my like around 30 number is pajamas, underwear and socks, couple sports bras and workout shorts and stuff that I have or like swimwear and stuff like that. For those sort of things, I just use the container concept, which basically means if it fits in the drawer, not just shoved in the drawer, like if you can make it fit, but like if it fits comfortably in the space, the drawer or the hanger or wherever it's being stored and I actually use it, then it deserves a spot in my collection. So that's what I've got going there. I might add a piece or two as I continue to go through these drawers. Right now, I have like a bunch of summer stuff, like out of season stuff in here, as well as random things that I just threw into this top drawer, like a pair of pajama pants. There's stuff like this. Refillable travel pouches that doesn't even belong in there so I gotta I have to tidy this up and as I go like every step of this process whether it's taking stuff out to like form or like build out my little capsule wardrobe or going through the stuff that um, is out of season each step of the way I am decluttering I am finding stuff that I don't want anymore that I didn't wear during the season like I have this stuff in this pile, I bought this pair of vintage Jordache mom jeans. They're my size, but they don't fit. I don't know, were, were 90s moms, like did they have skinnier booties? The sizing is way off and I'm bummed. So I'm going to donate those. I have, I've been trying to find a shacket, you know, like the, the Patagonia one that I showed you. This one, that was a bust, it doesn't fit right. A couple of pairs of jogger pants that just don't fit right. So that is what I found, but that's just so far. That's with like the first initial pass of grabbing stuff that I wanna keep. For me, it doesn't need to spark joy, it needs to fit. It just needs to fit. That's, that's what I'm looking at and that's what I shared in that last video. So I'm gonna go through this drawer here and pull out anything else that I think I'll wear in like the fall and winter time and set it over here. I'm going to take stuff out that needs to be decluttered that I just won't wear again. Either it's worn out or I don't fit it or I didn't like it. And I'm also going to be taking my out of season stuff. So like my hot weather clothing, summer clothing and putting that in a separate pile and also evaluating this is a summer piece of clothing but I'm not just gonna shove it in the summer drawer if I didn't actually wear it in the summertime. Here's a good example of that. It's popping out at me right now. This loft tank top with the stripes on it. I bought this a couple of years ago and I loved it, but my size has changed. And while I can squeeze into it and it would look fine, I never reached for this. I think I wore this one and a half times in the summertime. By the second time I put it on, I went, you know what, it doesn't fit. And rather than just declutter it out, I threw it back in the drawer because say it with me, I'm human. Things I'm definitely keeping for next summer because I lived in these pants. These are the linen pants by Old Navy. Old Navy really gets their linen right. They do a really good job. I talked about their shorts 
in I think my summer favorites video but I've also been wearing the linen pants but this is just too light for the fall time we'll definitely keep these for next summer these are absolutely a staple as are these uh, gap shorts um, long ones like Bermuda length that I like to roll up sometimes love these did not love these love these yes tried it hated it goodbye tried it hated it goodbye and a random bra pad. Okay, so I have a tidy little pile going on here. Um, I was able to pick out some things that I thought I would wear in the summertime, kind of like this striped shirt that I showed you, um, that I ultimately didn't end up wearing. I had like this cute little waffle print, American Eagle, kind of like a baby doll tank top. I never really reached for it because it was kind of difficult. It didn't have enough coverage and so I, I didn't feel like, like comfortable wearing it. Time to say goodbye to that one. And then I really like stretchy waistbands for my clothing. If you are a fellow chronic pain person, <laughs> um, if you have pain in like your GI area, like I deal with with my chronic abdominal migraines, um, it's nice to have stretchy waistbands. And so I was looking for that sort of thing for shorts this year during the summertime. I had a really bad flare up during the summertime. And so there was a week where I was just like, I have to find the, the you know, stretchy waistband shorts that I can wear because all of my other shorts are triggering those abdominal migraines with the pressure on my abdomen. It's a whole thing. So I bought a few pairs of that sort of thing and they, they all just didn't fit. They looked really weird on my butt and so ultimately I'm parting with them. Unfortunately they just didn't work out. But the linen shorts with the stretchy waistband, those do look good and they work with my uh, tummy issues. So keeping those. I do make a few more pants purchases than your typical minimalist even though I don't really like label myself um just because of my health issues and because of weight fluctuations up and down because of health issues as well as things that I'm learning about triggers for my abdominal migraines when it comes to uh seams and waistbands it sounds so weird honestly it's not something I talk about very often because it it kind of feels a little embarrassing but I know I'm not alone in the struggle to have clothing that works with my body, not just as a whole, but also specifically to its uh, pain, illness, and uh, health needs. Here's the thing, when people have asked me for an update on how that reverse decluttering method went, they ask, oh, you know, did you go too far? Did you get rid of too much? Because you guys saw in that last video, I got rid of so much stuff. And do I regret getting rid of anything? And honestly, no, I don't regret getting rid of anything. There have been a couple of times where I've seen my cute little mom wearing something that I passed on and going, dang, that is so cute. But it's not one of those like, oh, I regret I want it back because if I had it back and I put it on, I go, dang, that's really not cute. <laughs> those are the only circumstances where I kind of have this, Ugh, but I mean, my mom's cute as a button, so there's that. Honestly, it has never crossed my mind. I've never thought back to something that I got rid of and wished I had it in my collection. The opposite has actually been true. It's kind of like I've just blacked out those things. And instead, I have been enjoying the benefits and the positives to having less things to choose from. Um, not having that bin underneath my bed has been amazing because I was able to kind of give this whole master bedroom in my office space a refresh. My husband and I um, put together, it's kind of covered up by our <laughs> duvet cover, but we put together this bed frame that you can see under all the way through. 
and there's nothing underneath our bed right now and we've managed to keep it that way because we just don't have the stuff to shove under there and that's because of all the decluttering and all of these tough decisions and these conversations that we've had these decluttering muscles that we've been growing so no I don't regret it at all and actually the benefit of getting real with myself and really evaluating what I wear and what I don't wear has been life-changing. I don't have like that mental load of stuff shoved underneath my bed and the biggest thing of all is that I don't have stuff in my collection that is like mocking me for not having it fit anymore. Everything I have in my collection works and fits. I actually wear it. It has simplified my life so much. It's brought me so much peace and if you have been like wondering if it's time to take the leap to like simplify to this point um, then here's your sign try it out and if you are nervous about it or you think you might miss stuff because we all have different personalities my friend Kim she declutters stuff all the time that she misses that's her I don't miss anything that I've decluttered but we're all different but if you are scared of missing something then you can try the whole quarantine bin thing where the stuff that you would like donate or get rid of you actually put into a bin and you hide it away in a storage space in a garage you can throw it under your bed that's okay and you can revisit it in a few weeks or a few months and if you've like totally forgotten about the things which I bet there will be at least a few things that you will forget about then that might be your sign that it's time to move on and that you won't miss them so there are different methods to this madness and i i think i found my method thanks to dawn and I'm, I'm so so grateful so now i'm excited to piece this stuff back into my drawer count it up give you guys a tally and then share with you some of my favorite like fall clothing staples Hello, it's the next day and I'm coming at you with greasy hair, no makeup, and a very dirty mirror, but this is my life right now. This whole get interrupted halfway through filming a video has kind of been a theme on my channel lately. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, I will be filling you guys in actually in my next video of everything that's been going on behind the scenes and an exciting announcement, a life update that I'm giving you guys, so stay tuned for that right now. It's about my capsule wardrobe and I wanted to kick it off by sharing this piece with you. This is the newest thing. I ordered this and it's here in time to film day two of this video. I was looking for a sweatshirt, like a pullover sweatshirt, that would replace the Mickey Mouse one that I had that got ruined. That's also another story for another time. Um, but I ordered this one. This is from the brand Viore and I have just been loving their loungewear. I have these jogger pants. Weston actually bought these for me for my birthday back in May and I have been absolutely living in them um, and every piece I've tried from Viore I've just loved so much. So I got this one. It's got this little zip collar thing um, and you can like zip it all the way up like this to make it nice and cozy for the fall time. This brand has a higher price tag but it comes with a lifetime warranty and the quality is just so so good. Everything fits really well and it hangs really nicely and you can just tell that their fabrics are soft and good quality and so this was something that I added um, but I'm also going to show you what is in my closet. So let's start with hanging clothing. I keep anything that's out of season or like special, more formal stuff that I'm not counting in my capsule wardrobe um, over here. I'll push it that way. <laughs> so this section is part of my capsule wardrobe. I have a denim jacket um, and this uh, loft, I believe. Is this from loft? Yeah. I loved this loft sweater last year. Um, I got it around Thanksgiving time. Um, and it's just so cozy. So the sleeves are like three quarter and it kind of has like this bat wing thing. 
um, and this split hem here. I have this American Eagle little um, embroidered uh, kind of peasant top. Love this one. It has this cute little tie in the back. I hope you guys can see this well. A couple of basic button-up shirts. I've shown this one before. This is the Carly Jean Los Angeles. Just basic short sleeve collared button-up shirt. Um, I have this plaid shirt that I like to layer under cardigans. Um, this is from Rails. I thrifted that years ago. This is such a staple. Love making outfits for fall with this shirt. These two cardigans are actually the same thing. This sort of mulberry color, this camel color. Um, it's from this brand here, the Bacall brand, and I got one at a boutique and one, I think, on jane.com, but they're the same thing, and I love them. I get questions on them all the time. I love the pattern in the knit. I also have this cardigan, but now that I'm looking at it, see, like we declutter <laughs> with every step of the way. I'm not actually going to declutter this. Um, this is going to go over with my out of season clothing because it's a very lightweight cardigan. I actually wore this on the beach um, when we went on our beach vacation and I think I'm not gonna reach for it during the fall time. Um, so actually the last cardigan to share with you is this one from Express. I thrifted this about five or six years ago. Get questions about it all the time. Unfortunately, I can't share the link but I love it. It's so, so cozy, and it kind of has that bat wing thing, too, like this loft sweater, although it is open front cardigan with cute little pockets. And then I just have a basic Patagonia puffer vest. I like having a vest option, um, and I actually thrifted this. I found it on, um, oh gosh, was it Poshmark, Mercari, one of those sites. And so I've got that there for some outerwear. I do have a long sleeve puffer parka jacket that's in our entry closet. I don't really know if I'm counting outerwear in my number. I do have this and this jean jacket because I actually make outfits with these, but my parka jacket and then like my olive green hooded sort of anorak jacket, I just throw those on to be warm, not necessarily to make a outfit with. So it might be a little bit confusing, but that's that's my life right now. <laughs> But in the drawers, this is how it turned out, and I am very, very happy with it. So I have uh, my bulky sweaters here, and then I just have my collection of short sleeve t-shirts, um, and then I have two long sleeve shirts, this gray one, um, and then this sort of coral orangey color. These are from Carly Jean Los Angeles, one of their like basics collections. Love those. Those are definitely a staple in my fall wardrobe, and I think they still have them on their site. If they do, I will link them for you. And then when it comes to bottoms, I have the pair of linen pants that I was wearing yesterday when I was filming, which is in the wash right now. Um, and then this same pair of linen pants from Old Navy. It's just kind of like a maroon color. And then I have my three basic denims. So my sort of medium light wash. I got these from Madewell. Um, and I got them in the petite length, which I appreciate. Um, and then I have two American Eagle skinny jeans, dark denim. I get them in their extra, extra small length because that's what fits my leg length best. And then I have their like dark black skinny jeans as well. And yes, I am a millennial that wears skinny jeans. I am not apologizing for it. Um, and then the next drawer that I worked on today is this one, which is my out of season, which is now holding my warm month clothing. So we've got t-shirts and stuff that I wear, um, tank tops and stuff for the summertime, swimwear cover up there. Then I have uh, shorts that I wear in the summertime and then longer pants that I wear in the summertime. For the fall, I have selected these four pairs of shoes. I have these pointed toe washable flats from the Rothy's brand. Love this brand so, so much. Um, I also have these light slip on sneaker shoes. I have these uh, Adidas basic NMD uh, sneakers with the white sole. And then I have my black Chelsea boots. Let me tell you about these take them over here onto the bed. They're actually a little bit dusty. I have not worn these yet this season, but these were such a staple for me. I actually got these last fall. They're real leather from the Vagabond brand. Um, I got them at Nordstrom. I actually think I got them on Black Friday. I wore these from November to 
April. <laughs> um, and I will probably wear these from September to April this year. So love these so much. So other than those things that I mentioned before, like um, active wear, underwear, unmentionables, you know, a pair of pajama pants and a couple of jackets that I have hanging in my entry closet together, including shoes, my capsule wardrobe right now totals 28 items. I'm looking for a couple of things to round out the collection and I just want to show you really quick. Um, I'm looking for a pair of like slip on brown leather mules. I'm also looking for a jacket, which I guess maybe I'm more so looking for like a utility jacket. It's for outdoors. That's kind of more of a useful piece that I'm looking for. Um, and then of course I'm on the never ending hunt for a maxi dress that fits a petite but curvy person that's like the never-ending quest that i'm on but even with those few pieces that i would still like to add in i'm still around that 30 piece number that i'm trying to stay around and that's just for me like someone else especially if you work like a corporate job and you have like work or business attire it's gonna look different for everyone but for me i feel like 30 pieces including shoes is a good number um and i'm i'm just about there well, I hope you enjoyed today's video coming along with me while I did my closet declutter and put together my capsule wardrobe for the fall. It's always nice to have you guys along while I'm doing decluttering projects. It's really great to be able to like express what I'm thinking and what I'm going through in my mindset and to have you guys there cheering me on. So thank you very much for that. Um, and I have more messy to minimal episodes coming out and you'll want to make sure you're subscribed with the bell button turned on so you don't miss those as well as the very next video on my channel, which I'm so excited about. I won't keep you in suspense for very much longer, I promise. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Thank you so much for spending a little part of it here with me on my channel. It means the world to me. Thanks so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you later.